Hello everyone, this is Pemam Pusrani Devi. Today I am going to share about the precious gift of God that is Mother. Mankind comprises two components, they are men and women, neither is complete without the other. They are carriers of lifelines, without the company of women, men would have had to fill the pangs of loneliness and boredom. All the charms of life would not have been there for men if there were no women. Women runs the family, which is a source of joy to mankind. Woman is the emblem of beauty and splendor. A joyful woman is the living fresh rose in a house. The child learns his or her first lessons of life in the family and the true nature of a family more than anything else depend on the presence of a woman as mother, sister, and wife and on the quality and nature of this woman. The most loving, kind, and inspiring face of the mother is the greatest treasure to a child. The mother manages the family. She is an uncrowned queen in every household. The mother's time for sacrifice starts the moment she conceives. She keeps the child in her womb for nine months and suffers all the troubles and tribulations for bringing it into the world in a safe and healthy set. Mother is a very special and important person for every child. In fact, she is the most precious gift of God for anyone. A child can see the world only because of her. She is a friend, parent, guide, and teacher to her child. She takes care of the entire family and turns the house into a beautiful home. A mother's life is beyond comparison. Mothers have a sense beyond the other five normal senses that makes can understand her child's need. In my opinion, a mother's figure plays the most instrumental and pivotal role in a child's life and upbringing because she is the most significant role model for the child. Mothers are one of the first indications of the sovereignty of God in our lives. Mother teaches us to have confidence and belief in ourselves. Mother knew from experience how important for people to believe in themselves in order for children to be whole, strong, and grow up with a health, grow with a healthy estimation of oneself. In this world, there is no other thing that can compare with mother. She takes care of us in every field, whenever the world does not love us. But our mother is still there for us. They are the inseparable part for us. Mother is the most loving person in the in this world. She loves us unconditionally. Whether she shows our love or not, it doesn't matter, but she always loves us. She sacrifices everything for the welfare of her children, husband, and everyone. She guards and protects our lives. She does not fear anyone for her children. There is nothing that a mother can do for her children. She can tolerate rains, big storms, thunders, hot summer days. There is anything for her children. She wants to take all the problems that her children will face. A child can never repay for all the work done by her mother. But mothers also does not want to take the repay from her children. If once her children do to fulfill her mother's heart, it's over. Mother forget all the pains and suffering whenever she sees her child's happy life. Mothers have many faces. The two can compare with the mother. The one who gives us birth is mother. And the one who gives us, who teaches us, and who Guidance is also mother. The first teacher is also our mother. Our mother is everything, just everything. How can a child bear his or her heart if their mother is no more in this world? It's the most heartbreaking situation for every people. The one who can tolerate that condition, still they work hard in the hope that still their mother supports and look after from the heaven. Bye everyone and thanks for